Hi guys! If you're looking to enhance your network security, optimize performance, and organize your network traffic efficiently, you're in the right place. Today in this video, I'll walk you through the process of creating and configuring VLANs to suit the specific needs of your small to medium-sized business. And if you have any questions with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. And our team of experts will provide you with a free consultation tailored to your requirements. VLAN stands for Virtual Local Area Network. It is a network technology used to segment a physical network into multiple logical networks. By creating VLAN, network administrator can group devices together. And VLAN works by assigning specific network ports or devices to a virtual network, effectively isolating the traffic between those groups. And this isolation enhances the network security, reduces broadcast traffic, and allows for more efficient management and organization of the network resources. That's why VLAN is widely used in modern network to enhance flexibility, security, and overall network efficiency. VLANs enable network segmentation in terms of security by isolating different groups into separate VLANs can minimize unauthorized access to sensitive data and resources. As each VLAN acts as virtual barrier, limiting the communication between different VLANs to enhance overall security. Moreover, VLANs contribute to improve the network performance. They also enable the business to implement QoS policy ensuring that critical application and service receive the necessary bandwidth and priority. And for small to medium-sized businesses, where resources and budget might be limited, VLAN provide a cost-effective solution to optimize security, performance, and organization. VLANs offer a wide range of benefits for modern network infrastructure. So now I'm going to discuss some of the scenarios and advantages. First, departmental segmentation. Organizations can logically group devices based on department and functional teams, enable each department traffic remain isolated from each other, promoting efficient resource management. Next is the gas network isolation. By implementing VLAN for gas Wi-Fi access, business can create a separate network for visitors without granting them access to sensitive internet resource, providing peace of mind while welcoming guests into the network. VLAN also facilitate to Internet of Things device segregation and contribute to broadcast domain reduction for better device management and optimized network performance. Now, implementing VLANs empowers the business with efficient network architecture to meet diverse demand of today's digital landscape. A managed PoE switch supporting VLAN feature offer powerful network segmentation and security capability. So when choosing a managed PoE switch, we should consider the following essential criteria. First, evaluate the number of devices that need to be connected to the switch and choose the switch with an adequate number of ports. Next, determine the power requirement of the devices and select a switch that can provide sufficient power budget. Last but not least, look for advanced management feature including VLAN support, QoS link aggregation, spinning tree protocol STP, and port mirroring among others to provide greater control and flexibility for optimizing network performance and security. So now let me introduce you to some of our managed PoE switch. First one that I'm holding is our 8-port WebSmart PoE switch. It is designed for medium to small scale with high efficiency and great flexibility. Equipped with two SFP slots for long distance high bandwidth 
and load latency fiber optic link and provide up to 30 watts of power output per port and has 120 watts of total power budget also with traffic management qls and vlans capabilities next we have our 16 port 90 watts poe managed switch now this switch has four sfp of link port and among those 16 ports port number one to eight can provide up to 90 watts of power output that's ieee 802.3 bt standard and the rest of the port can provide up to 30 watts of power output with 1000 megabit per second at the transfer rate and this switch is also loaded with powerful traffic management that i'll show you later because we are using this switch for connection last but not least we have our 24 port fiber optic sfp managed switch this switch has 16 1 gigabit SFP port, 8 1 gigabit combo ports, and 4 10 gigabit per second SFP port for high speed connectivity. And also offer redundant power input with protection and support various management mode and wet management function. So now let's do the connection together. So today we are adding five devices to our managed PoE switch. First, we'll need a router to provide the data. So I'm going to connect it to the NVR first because we have two IP cameras at the edge. And then providing the data to our managed PoE switch. Now this switch has PoE++ feature. Now I'm going to add the two camera. We're using a PDZ camera and a bullet camera. The PDZ camera require high power. That's why I'm plugging in those port. And also we are adding two wireless SS points. So I'm adding two cables here for the wireless SS points. Let me plug them in here. And a VOIP phone for conferencing call. Let me add to this port. So let's come over here. The VO IP phone is already connected and the two yellow cables are connected to the camera and the two black cables are connected to the wireless SS point. Now I'm going to plug into the PTZ camera and the bullet camera. And they're all using PoE technology, allow both power and data to be transmitted over the single Ethernet cable. We can see for the wireless access point, the power outlet is already getting on. Now it's receiving power and data at the same time. And the two cameras, I'm waving my hand to show you, they are a live video. So the whole connection is done. Now I'm going to show you how to do the VLAN feature on my computer. So now I've already opened up the web managed page, let's get started. First, you will see a lot of configuration on your left. Let's look for VLAN, that's what we're doing today. Under VLAN configuration, let's create and remove VLAN. So we have five devices. Let's divide them into three groups. So the first group, I will name it 10, and they're for the cameras. Let's add the first group. And the second group, let's name it 20, and they're for the wireless access point. Last but not least, our third group, let's name it VOIP, because we are going to put the VOIP phone under this group. So now we have opened up three different VLAN groups. So let's go over to the assign ports for VLAN. And this is where we assign the ports. As you can see, under the three group, there are no ports here. So now let's add the first group, which is our camera group. The camera are connected to port number one and two. Whoops. Don't forget to select the, v, the ID one and two. So under our first group, the cameras group, we can see the Ethernet 1 and number 2 ports. So under our wireless access point group, we have port number 5 and number 6. 
Number six. Let's add them under this group. Last but not least, we have our VOIP phone, which is connected to port number 12. Let's add it. So now we are all set and done. We have the 10, the 10 cameras group for port number one and two, 20 wireless access point for port number five and six, and the third group VOIP, we have port number 12 under this group. So this is how we set up a VLAN configuration. So VLAN tagging and untagging are methods used to identify and manage traffic on VLANs. VLAN tagging is like adding a label to each piece of data that travels through the network. This label tells the network equipment which VLAN the data belongs to. So it's similar to putting a sticker on each package to indicate its destination. And on the other hand, untagging is like removing the label from the package when it arrives at its destination. So tagging and untagging are essential for separating different groups of devices on the same network. So when a packet enters a switch port as an access port, that is when it connected to a single VLAN, the switch will automatically add tag to the package. And if there are more than one switch, the port for data uplink is named the truck port. The truck port can transmit and receive frames from multiple VLANs simultaneously. And this is where the VLAN tagging and untagging become more crucial. So here are some more factors that you should consider too. First, plan for future growth. Consider the possibility of new department or expansion of your business. And for maintaining and managing VLANs in a small to medium-sized business, regular audit can help identify the potential security risk and ensure compliance with network policy. And also, removing the unused VLAN can make it easier to manage the remaining VLAN effectively. Last but not least, properly configuring ACLs can help prevent unauthorized access and limit the scope of potential security breaches. And thank you very much for watching us. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel to find more videos about network configuration and using managed switch such as the DHCP, ERPS, STP, and etc.